Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited to be unboxing this Copacetic Cosmetics Convert Box. This is the $40 a month subscription service that Copacetic Cosmetics offers. I saw the sneak peeks for the box. It is not a box of surprise goodies for the most part. And I saw the um, sort of sneak peeks of some of the stuff that was going to be in this box and I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to need to get this box. Um, I don't know if I'll get the next one because the next one is the, really not my color story, um, but I might, you know, kind of see how things go out and maybe like, I don't know, talk to them about skipping a month maybe. Uh, if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick with me. We're going to get into it right now. Okay, so the boxes come in this like super cute little like kind of, the boxes come in this like super cute little kind of rainbowy pastel kind of look to them. I don't want to show you the front of the box, of course, because of my address and, you know. Um, but they did mark it, you know, fragile. So hopefully they didn't drop kick it all the way to my house, which is what the USPS normally does. And when you open it up, it does say, hello, beautiful. And I'm all like, hey. <laughs> and then they have like this cute little message in there. And then when you look inside, now I've taken out some of the wrapping, um, but when you look inside, everything is packed really, really well. So let's start each month for the convert box, which is $40. They do have smaller boxes if you're not necessarily interested in getting everything. Um, but for this particular box, $40, you do get a quad, you get a lip product, and you get a nail polish. Um, and then there's usually some other like goodies that are mixed in, and those other goodies are more like mystery type items. Um, so those things can be more of a mystery, but the bulk of the box is already known to you. So for this month, you actually got to pick your lip product and your nail polish between, I think, two different lip products and three different polishes, I think. The polish that I picked out is called Harmony. So the Harmony polish is a thermal polish that goes from sort of a lilac periwinkle type color to just a straight on white. It's what I have on my nails right now. And it has just this hint of kind of a pinky glitter. So hopefully you can see that as I move that through the light. I think you can kind of catch it. First time, Mom, I... Now the other thing I should say is that this polish is a mood polish, so when you get it under cold water, it turns that kind of lilac-y pretty color. I'm sorry, it... When you get it under cold water, it turns kind of this periwinkle lilac color with the pink glitter in it and then when it's nice and warm it's the white color that you see in the first part of the video. Okay, next thing let's talk about the lip product next. So the lip product came with a little sponge so that's exciting and it came in this kind of like iridescent bag. So I do like the fact that everything was like packed really well um, and I like that they gave like additional thought to this kind of stuff because when you're spending $40 a month like you want to feel like you actually got $40 worth of product. Um, so the next thing is this little sponge and it came in a little tin and I'm not one for like being a snob about like having to have beauty blenders so I'm fine with that. It's kind of a lilac shade which I like. It's pretty pretty dense and it does have a completely flat bottom so you could potentially like stamp on your foundation if that's um, the way you prefer to do that. I haven't gotten that one wet yet though so we'll see what that looks like. The gloss, oh my gosh, it's called Influence. It's coming up really blue on camera but it is like a bright, bright royal purple in actuality. I think it's just because of this very bright lights that I have on it. The quad for this month which has a matte purple shade, a shimmery metallic blue to purple duochrome shade. We have a iridescent blue to purple flaky shade. And then we have this like gray to purple flaky shade. Okay. And then the last thing to show you is the like mystery sample that came in it. So um, mystery beauty item and mystery sample. Um, so you can see how beautiful that is. Okay. 
Okay, so here we have the four shades in the quad, and you can see that they just have a lot of shine. This one definitely has more of like a purple reflect in its base than this one. This one has more of like a pinky reflect, but like mostly, mostly white. Then this over here is the highlighter, which is like a silver with a pink kind of glitter running through it. And then this down here is the lip gloss. So you can see how high shiny it is. Okay, you guys. And already I can tell that my hair is just going to be on another plane this, this video. So you're just going to have to try to ignore it. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and start getting into a look with this quad. Because I am so, so excited to use this quad. So the next thing that I want to do then is I want to go in with um, these two shades up here and I would like to create sort of a cut crease effect. And then I'm going to pick up some of these flakes on the other side, maybe. The flakes are more challenging to pick up, let me just tell you that much. you can kind of see oh yeah you can definitely see it so you can see this like super bright kind of color that's this top left shade and you can see you have to kind of dig a little aggressively to get the flakes out 
Um, that's been my experience with these, but they come across so pretty on the eye that I don't mind doing that extra digging. And then this kind of blue-purple duochrome, I put kind of on the lid here. So let's repeat with the same thing on the other eye. Maybe I'll try doing that top sheet first. So I think that looks pretty good overall. You can see that like overarching kind of like vibrant shimmer over top of the blue. I think that looks really, really pretty. So let me pause the footage um, or pause the video. I'm going to put on the rest of my face and then I will come back and we can finish off the lower lash line and... Yeah, then we'll do lip product. All right. Okay, you guys, back with face and blush done. And I did go ahead and add a little bit of like a cream highlighter because I know we're going to do some highlight on top of that. Um, but I wanted to go back into this and kind of finish off the eye look. So I'm going to take the blue shade over here and kind of smudge that along the inner like third to half. And then I'm going to take the matte purple and smudge that along the back. Alright, and now for the purple. Like I said, you mostly want to like stamp this into place because of the type of pigment that it is. I think that's going to work better for you than trying to blend it. And then for inner corner, I want to use this kind of like silvery shade. Oh my gosh, how do I keep messing this up? Okay. I want to use this kind of like silvery shade here to pop in the inner corner. So let's get a little bit of that. And I'm just using a little bit of setting spray to let that sit. This is Mario Badescu, but this is hot water trash, so don't bother buying it. Buy something good. I'm literally just on a mission to use it up and then I'm never buying any more of that because it's just... not worth it to me, that's for sure. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, what do you think of this eye look? Because I am feeling myself in this eye look, okay? So, what I want to do next... Oh, and I forgot to record it, but I did end up using the sponge. This is how it looks wet. Um, and it actually works pretty well. I will say it's a little difficult to get up into, like, the very corner of my eye because my eyes are a little deep set. Um, but I think this worked overall pretty well for foundation and concealer. Um, and I did just kind of tap everything out. I thought it applied things very, very smoothly. So definitely not mad to get that in the box as kind of a bonus item. So the next thing I want to try to use is the little mystery sample highlighter and I'm going to try to do that as a brow bone highlight and then we'll see if I can get it to spread nicely. I may do it as kind of my face highlight as well. So let's try... Maybe I need to pick this up with my fingers. Maybe that'd be easier. Okay. 
So I think if you warm it up in your hand, you can get like a good, you know, kind of more even finish with it. But it is kind of that flaky texture to begin with, so you have to kind of be a little bit careful. Oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it! Okay, you guys, lip product time. Okay, I'm gonna try the LA Girl Berry Wine lip liner because I think this will have a little bit of a deeper pigment that we need to really pull off the berry gloss. All right, you guys, and this is the finished look. What do we think? I actually really like it, and I'm sorry to keep looking off into the corner here, but this is where I have my laptop that I use as my monitor um, so I can get a good look at what I'm looking at. Let's start from the beginning for all the products in this box. The first thing that we used was the quad. Now I will say that this purple blends like a pressed pigment so you don't want to try to like swipe it back and forth like I had originally started doing. You definitely want to like kind of place this and kind of pat it into place. You don't want to be trying to brush it back and forth because you're not going to get as good a color payoff. This metallic works really nicely. I think it would work nicely with a finger or with a flat brush. I always use a glitter glue with my metallic so you can see what a lovely payoff you get. This flaky shade is definitely very flaky and I think you're going to need a glitter glue to get payoff. Like you can see I got payoff but I had to kind of work for that payoff because of the flaky nature of this product. But I do think it makes the texture really lovely. And then this one I used for the inner corners and I do think it has a really nice like subtle pop but it's not going to be as bright and sort of vibrant as these two shades up here. So overall I am very happy with this quad. I believe the quads retail for about $20 if you buy them individually. But you can get it in the box. Like I said, the box is 40 The next thing is, well, let me backtrack here. The next thing would be the nail polish. Now, I just put this nail polish on before I started filming, so I can't really speak to the longevity of the polish, but I do think it's a very, very pretty color. Nice full bottle, um, so I don't anticipate having any issues with the polish. The sponge, I think the sponge worked well. A little difficult to get into, you know, my inner corners, um, so that's just something to be aware of. The little single flaky kind of highlighter. I think this is sort of a hybrid between their flaky um, type texture and then sort of that second like softer, smaller flaky type texture that they have in the quad. So I think that this is a really nice formula. I do think it works best if you kind of place it and then kind of smudge it down with your finger because you don't want to have like big chunks remaining on your face where the flakes haven't been blended in. So that's something that I would recommend if you want to use it as a highlighter. Otherwise, it would be a really, really beautiful eyeshadow. And this shade is called Metal Ox, in case you were wondering about that. And then lastly would be the lip gloss. Now, I tried this lip gloss with two different liners. The first liner, the lip gloss actually pulled up the liner um, and gave kind of like bare spots. And then this time around, I feel like it's doing that kind of like stringy thing with your lips where you feel like you can feel the strings kind of pulling apart as you open and close your mouth. Um, so I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the formula of this gloss, um, but I do think that the color is really pretty. 
I almost wish it were a little bit more pigmented, um, which I know probably most people do not wish that, um, but I almost wish it was a little bit more pigmented so you didn't, it didn't seem quite so obvious when it lifted the liner. Um, but overall I think, I think it looks okay. So, $40, am I happy with the box? I would say yes, because I'm happy with this, I'm happy with the nail polish, I'm happy with the sponge, and I'm happy with the little pressed shadow. I'm keeping it in this little tray here for the moment. The lip gloss, not really my thing. Um, so the other question, of course, then that we have to ask is would I purchase another one of these boxes or do I want to keep my subscription? I would say because I don't know what the next couple of you know months hold for me in terms of other products that I want to purchase and review and knowing that the next set of shades for at least the nail polish the palette and the gloss coming into the next box are not shades that I particularly care for um, just as my own personal style um, there are like a lot of reds and yellows and blacks and that's really just not something that I gravitate to on a regular basis. Um, because of that, I would say I probably will not continue with the next box. Um, but I do think that if the colors are colors that you're interested in, that you'll be happy with the quality. Um, the only caveat that I say to that is the lip gloss, just because this particular gloss has not been my favorite. Um, but that doesn't mean that other glosses from their range might be better. I don't know because it's the only one I've tried. I will say I purchased this entire box with my money. I'm not being paid or sponsored in any way to do this um, particular box, which you can probably tell because it's a very brutally honest review, right? Um, yeah, so I hope that gives you guys some insight into the Copacetic Cosmetics boxes. I really did enjoy getting a chance to open this up, and I really enjoyed putting this eye look together. So you guys will have to let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the eye look? What do you think of the box? Would you have picked this box up, or are you considering picking up the next one? Um, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye!